Boom! 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 Hey, guys, walk by with a skateboard. How appropriate. Yeah. Hello, everybody out there. Um, got confused by that. Welcome to another Off The Lip Radio Show tonight. Neil, big guest tonight. Big guest. The guy that actually I stole his job. You stole his job. I talk about that. <laughs> we, we'll, we'll talk about we, it. We need to put that, we need to get, we need to get that on the air. <laughs> I did yeah. steal his job. Stole yeah. his I stole his job. Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> you got hired, he quit. Well, if, yeah. he, if, he, if he knew what the job <laughs> paid, yeah, yeah. If, if he knew what it paid, he'd be like saying thank you right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, he's exactly. like, thank God okay, you. Close that microphone there, Jimbo. Okay, gotcha. there we go. All right, everybody Jimbo, out there. Check, check, check. Welcome to show number 400 and something. 81. 481, uh, live from the Santa Cruz boardroom. Uh, and Neil, always yep. a fun time. We're delving into the mind today. We're delving into the mind. I saw a photograph today of Jimbo Phillips' his desk. On it was a skull, a Pat's blue ribbon, and a screaming hand. Who else has got that on the desk? That's a desk so job. We've got to delve into the mind of Mr. Jimbo Phillips. A legendary surf and skate artist. Is, it, is, is that a nightmare, or what kind of dream is that in the mind of Jimbo Phillips? Jimbo, Thank welcome you. to the show. Thank you. What number is this? Neil, what number? Is this well, a, show? Jimbo, for Jimbo. Oh, I don't know. Like a How six, many times have you been on the show now? 34? 30, 34? 34. 34? Yeah. yeah, definitely. Welcome back. Thank you. You didn't Stoked bring Jennifer tonight. I know. Why yeah. Not? Is solo. she still mad at me? No, I think she's cool. <laughs> she's cool? <laughs> she's cool? Hang on. Why'd she kiss you? Well, I was like, hey, uh, so let's, let's let's talk about the kids. Are they getting laid? You know, <laughs> Jen's like, oh my God, TC. <laughs> no, she's not the you first thing you said. <laughs> Possibly. Like, How's he doing in school? No. Is he like, getting laid? Is he squeezing <laughs> boobies yet? You know? And she, of course, I just do oh that on purpose. Gosh. Yeah. Fire her up. Um, but, uh, so, let's, okay, first off, you didn't bring Jen. No. She's still mad at me, probably. Tell her I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, sometimes just like better unseen than, you know. Yeah, because she, she should be seen, seen, seen not heard. heard. Yeah, it's true that. Uh, uh, let's yeah. talk about the kids though. Colby, how old is Colby now? Colby's 19. Holy Nin- shit. Yeah. 19? 19. He has like chest hair and stuff now? Yeah, he's like an a adult dude. Hang on. Yeah, he's a dude. He got his first check for Merch 4 socks. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. By the way, well, let's, uh, let's write yeah, it. Let's yeah. show up. Yeah, we got his first socks. So the, uh, you know, if, if your dad could get a sock... Would yeah. he do a sock? Uh, they, they, all yeah. three of you guys would have socks. Yeah. Cindy, get on it. Stat. Yeah, stat, stat. These are Colby, Colby Phillips the, the socks. Colby merch for socks. Put those right in front of the camera. Let, let, our, let our viewers see that. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Yeah, Colby's merch for socks. Uh, yeah, and which is yeah. the sponsor of the show. Yeah. Um, I got my merch. You got yours. I'm sure Neil always yeah. we, That's all we wear. Yeah, that's all we wear. Yeah, 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 my merch on. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, which is exciting to see another local company here in Santa Cruz. Um, Do well. Prosper. Yeah, and and really grasp the local culture. Definitely, because you have socks. How many have you had now? A few. Yeah, I got like ten different styles. Yeah, you getting the check in time. Is the, is the money showing up on time? Yeah, yeah, is right. It? On time. Okay, yeah. he's all smiles. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, <laughs> nice. no, yeah, it's been it's growing. You know, so each each time it's a little better and more more selling and. Yeah, it's it's a growing company, so does, does I, she, each year they do better. Does she ask you what designs you you want, or do you put forward designs to her? A little of both. Right. Okay. I, I propose ideas, and then she sometimes requests things. Right. Yeah. So works both ways. Yeah. She'll see things I post and be like, "Oh, can we do a sock of that?" Right. Like, right. Right. Oh, yeah, it's good, okay. You know. Yeah. But I just want if, if if for those who are watching haven't worn a pair of merch for, I'm kind of a sock dude. They're comfortable. I wear, I wear shorts every day of my life. Yeah. They're good socks. They are. They hold up. And I know you've been in this industry a long time. You've had yeah. the other brands. They hold up, huh? They do. They're durable. And you can wash yeah. them a thousand times. They're still good. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. could wear it. Like, I've worn a pair without washing them for like a week, and they're still good. Hey, so you <laughs> Now, that's a testament right there. You're saying he asked me to Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Winner! Boom! Yeah, uh, Cindy, <laughs> you gotta you she can write the checks for our endorsements. <laughs> take much for much over here. I'm saying, yeah. It's... Should we talk about how he first? Uh, can I talk about the Joe uh, Jimbo and the show and how it came about? Sure. Because that, have, have we documented that? Who knows? You know, uh, we 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 talked about it a few times. Right. But originally, and you could you so go to KSCO, want to do a show? Long story short, and Rosie says you need to lead, you're gonna need to get at least five co-hosts. Five That's what she said. Yeah, because I go, what, five? Five. Why five? I didn't, I didn't know radio. She goes, well, because you guys are surfer skaters, not going to show up. We need to have this 
when, when the time comes, there needs to be someone in the room who can do a show. Oh, okay. Hi, right, co-host. So, of course, I went to TC because TC was, I heard TC at the Dog Jam. And did the Dog Jam. The dog, I, I emceed yeah. the Dog MC Jam. the Dog right. Jam. Everyone was laughing and howling. The whole thing was a TC show. Yeah. And dogs. <laughs> For right? sure. The whole thing was DC. I'm like, oh, he's good on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> but, then he's got, but then he said to me. Well, yeah, he's used to doing the skate And I asked him if he wanted to do the show. Know? And he goes, no, I got two stores. I got two kids. Wife. <laughs> not happening. So I'm like, oh, shit. Who else are we going to get? I go, I need someone, I need someone that knows about skateboarding. So we said Jimbo. I think we said Jimbo. Yeah. Right? We said yeah. Jimbo's got, but Jimbo's quiet. Yeah. And I, <laughs> no, he's coming out of his shell. Look at no, him. He's coming out of his shell. 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 He's coming what, finally, what, what, what did it take? What was, what, what? I don't know, me stopped going. <laughs> yeah. I'm in his living room. I'm in his living room pounding on him. Yeah. <laughs> did you finally, probably like duck when he pulled up? You're oh, like, yeah, yeah, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Pull the so shades down. Go, <laughs> <laughs> so finally he said yes. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So remember, you go, I'll be the backup guy. Yeah, I said. Uh, this is, uh, this is, I, was in, I was in position A for this. Because uh, he's the backup guy. You're the, you're my co-host. So we go to that, we go to that for our first practice. Remember our first rehearsal. You were first, traveling back then, Jimbo. You were yeah. doing trips to Australia. You yeah, were, you were yeah, all you were. Right, right. We had yeah. to do we had to do weeks worth of of, of rehearsal without the without the microphone thing. So on. we showed oh, up. Really? We showed up. Yeah. Remember that night? Yeah. We showed up and we played radio. Yeah, we played radio. Oh, and right. you and I yeah. talked. She teach and I like rap, 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 rap talking. Yeah, and, yeah. And Jimbo's over there like this. <laughs> I was a deer in the headlights. You were. Right. I, mean, you I was said, like staring at the mic. You said to him, you said to him, say something. Just talk. Yeah. Say, like, uh. say something, Jimbo. And you're like. So, it, so that show went on. on. We, show we did our practice. show was over. Mm-hmm. Right? He left, bolted. Right? Literally got in the Toyota Celica. Did he say goodbye? I, I don't think he did. <laughs> <laughs> bolted, bolted, bolted. <laughs> Meanwhile, so he's gone. Mm. This is from my position, right? Meanwhile, you're coming to me, going, Neil, I got to do this. This is gonna be really fun. It was pretty fun. I got to admit, this. I got to yeah. do. This. We have to do this together. I felt like a DJ that night. Right. So, like, yeah, you, you, you said yes. <laughs> it was you fun. said yes, and then the, and, <laughs> and my phone was beeping. Neil. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get yet? Me yeah. Yeah. He was at Little Caesars yeah. at the stoplight. Yeah. Little yeah. Caesars. He was at 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'm out. I go, okay. I go, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Jimbo. I'll let you out of your contract. Right? Right? Out of your contract? Did you have a contract? No. No. Okay. <laughs> no. I'll let you out of your contract, mm. but you go draw me a logo. Right? Oh. Okay, hang on a minute. How long does it take to get a Jimbo Phillips logo? Well, no, for him, he, he can draw it sitting on a toilet. If no, you go and order it, it, yeah, but okay. a few how, months. The whole, phone, <laughs> the whole phone call process, right? Yes. The whole thing. How long does it take to get a Jimbo Clips logo? It's like, uh, two months. Right, right, Jimbo? <laughs> two months? Yeah, more or less. Yeah. And, an hour later. <laughs> <laughs> ding. You got a message. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm out. Here's your logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were you no, really, just, did you really panic that night? Or were you just not into doing it? What happened? Um, I, no, it was just, uh, I wasn't so much panicking. I was a little, like, maybe taken aback from, like, the yeah. whole microphones and right. that, you know. I'm sure I would have got used to it, but I just d- definitely felt like it wasn't my thing. You'd rather where, draw a logo and get out? You just seemed so natural. You were just like, yeah, like nothing. Like, yeah, I was just like, like, oh, this, I mean, he's the guy. Like, he's like, like so you I can't even pretend to you do it. You go, you go, Jimbo, say something, Jimbo. <laughs> That was but a, you are everywhere. You're busy as all heck. Yeah. I mean, are, are, are you as busy as ever right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been off the hook. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've seen your shit everywhere. Yeah. You are drawing like a maniac. Yeah. The the pandemic really didn't phase it much. You know, it's because I'm doing the same thing I always did. You know, work at my house and hold email it. And hold everything. Just lawyer in the house. Oh, lawyers. I think like nice. lawyers coming on the show. Is he? I lawyer, you lawyer. coming on the show? What are you doing? Come on back, lawyer. Yeah, Josh. What age did Jimbo Phillips decide I'm going to be an artist? Well, I always drew when I was a kid, and I was always, like, really into it. 
But my dad always d- kind of discouraged me about doing it because my dad was like a real like starving artist when I was young, you know, like he really like grinded and paid his dues and, you know, like did it the hard way. And so he was like, you know, you should go to college and be a lawyer, you know, and make a bunch of money, you know, don't, don't do what I'm doing, you know. But when it came time, I was graduating high school, you know, I'm looking at my skill set and I'm like, well, I can draw and I can surf, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I want to <laughs> surfing. Yeah, I, you know, I don't really see making money at surfing, but, you know, I got this drawing thing and so, and there was opportunities kind of opening the doors. So I went with that and uh, yeah, I never looked back. Did he? I mean, obviously, he accepted you being that uh, driven to be an artist. Yeah. That, when you decided that, did he jump in? Was he a coach? Did he? Yeah. I mean, like, I know at that time it was Philip's studio. Yeah. And so you went straight into the studio, and he worked side by side with you. Yeah, I mean, once I decided, like, I kind of decided I had like kind of a epiphany. I'm like, oh, I was meant to do this, you know? Like, of course I'm going to do this. And uh, he was like, of course you were. Like, let's do this. So. Right. He was kind of the same. Like, what, once I decided, he was like, yeah, you you need to do what this. What'd your mom say? She was all for it, too. No, she was. Yeah. yeah. He, he was just kind of like, as I was, like, growing up and going to school, like, yeah, you should go to college and get good grades. And But, I, you know, I surfed every day. I didn't get good grades, you know. So <laughs> I, by the time I graduated, I was like, I could do construction or, you know, yeah, I can draw. A family yeah. trade. Yeah. What was your – go ahead. I'll just say, did you realize during that time um, – because you guys uh, – created such iconic art during that era. Yeah. There's some amazing art. Did, sure. did you realize that at the time? Did you realize it was going to be like how important the work was you were doing? I, I knew it was important. Um, yeah, it's hard to, yeah, I mean the whole like collector craze and everything, I didn't really like foresee that obviously, mm-hmm. otherwise I would have saved a bunch of boards <laughs> and stuff. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I knew I knew my dad had like set the bar really high, you know, and I knew like people loved his art, and I knew I loved it, so I really wanted to just like rise to that level, you know. So I knew that it was important, but yeah, I didn't realize how far around the globe it was reaching, and like all you know, people in Sweden like freaking out and like everywhere, you know. It's Hollywood movie stuff. Yeah, it really is. It it hasn't been done yet. I'm sure it will sometime in our future. Yeah, because it really easily could be. Did your dad critique you at all? And how? Oh yeah. And and how did you take the critique? Because a lot of times it's hard. My dad was brutal on me. He was. Yeah. He would make me redraw things like 20 times. No kidding. Yeah. And how did you? I'd show him. He'd be like, Nope. 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 <laughs> just really? really? Would he treat Meekster like that? Uh, he was pretty rough on Meekster. I, I, <laughs> I felt at the time that he was roughest on me, of course, but, mm-hmm. but um, he was just he just had a real like uh, strict like level that you if you didn't come to that level he wasn't having. Did, it, you, know? did you realize that you wouldn't make money unless you were at that level? If you if you're at a lower level, you're not gonna you you're not gonna make money at what you're doing. Yeah, well, my dad always my dad always loved Walt Disney. How Walt Disney had like this studio of artists, and Walt Disney oversaw the artists, and everything was really high quality. And Disney was like uh, kind of directing this like amazing, you know, movement of art, and he liked that, and he kind of oh. wanted that. So he he was he was uh, you know he's really get pushing everyone to be their best. And but also be productive and not right. not lose your uh, momentum either. You know, like you didn't want to shoot you down, so you're just like oh, crash and burn. Can, can I follow up? Can I follow up with that? What's the one thing in your head that you, you hear your dad say every day to you that reminds you what you need to do when you draw something? Oh man, um, yeah, just uh, do it over. <laughs> do it. So if you, if, you, if you do something, if you if you do something, think you dad, yeah, I need to, I can do better than that, and do you start again or? I mean, I re, I always redraw things a lot of times before it gets to the final stage. You know, like you kind of just like once real rough, and then another time a little better, and then the third time, you know, you really like refine the lines, and right? Make everything really sharp, right? And then you ink it, and then it's really just like snaps into place, you know. So the inking is really where. It, the drawing just like comes, comes into focus, you right. know. Do you happen to have a favorite piece? I mean, I know you've done thousands and thousands. Is that is that? Do you have to happen to have a favorite one? Oh man, it's so hard. I always get asked that. I'm sure yeah. you do. Huh? Yeah, but is it this up there? I mean, I know you worked on that Nautis. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I really, yeah, I like a lot of those, those 80s boards. You know, I just came in at the tail end of the 80s, like 80, like I graduated 87. That not as kitten up there. Yeah. Not right at the corner? That was the, is that the first board you worked on at Philip Studios? Is that? Yeah, uh, yeah. I thought you said yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Time. Yeah. And I also got to do a Ross Scott board, the, the melting phase. That's, by the way, that's your skateboard. Yeah, that board you own. That, that board. Yeah, that's my yeah. board, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> the honest kitten up there next to the Decorama poster. Yeah, and yeah. the Rob Scott, right? Uh, the Rob, I don't know, possibly. I know every, every one of those has tape on the back of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, that's uh, that was the uh, and then, so those boards are the ones to me. I'm like, wow. And, and when I look back at that, I'm like, how old were you when that happened? I was like 19, like yeah, yeah 19 right out of high old. school. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I had to read that Nautis, like, I redrew that thing probably, like, 20 times, you know? Like, there was a lot of versions of that. I had different lettering, different, the cat was in different positions, and, you know, all kinds of stuff. And, he, well, and then I had Nautis to contend with, who was really particular about the string. Right. And he's an artist. He's an artist, right. and he had a certain look he wanted, so I redrew that string probably, like, a 100 times, you know? And it's crazy, because NHS just launched that Nautis uh, blind bag yeah. thing last week, and uh, I literally we had a line outside the door for that. Oh yeah, it's just the power of that graphic. Yeah, you know it's yeah, and Nottis. Yeah, Nottis was yeah. huge. Yeah, we talked about that a little earlier. How um, the collector market, and uh, I, I went on eBay today, and I was really shocked at the prices of the collector boards. And it's crazy. Phillips graphics on skateboards. Are very collectible. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, do you take that for granted? Do you do you realize? Oh, <coughs> people really, their the art that you guys created has changed their lives. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, at the time that there was like four or five skateboard companies, and you know, Santa Cruz had the best graphics. You know, and Pal Peralta was next, and mm -hmm. you know, and and then Vision or whatever. But there wasn't that many skateboard graphics, and then. You know, the 90s hit and it blew up and then, you know, there's a million companies now. So it's a lot harder to make an impact with skate graphics. Back then, there was only so many boards. And like a Nautis Kitten graphic, that lasted like maybe a year. Yeah. That's right. where a gra skate graphic now is gone, you know, in a couple months, you know. Right. They, yeah. only, they only make 200 boards or something that's gone and, the, you know, the next graphic comes in. Well, it's crazy because we have this Roscoff up here. Uh, yeah, the Roscoff one who that belonged to Rob Roscoff, and he told me he rode that board for months. Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, I bet he goes. I literally rode that board for months. Yeah, for, as a pro skater. Yeah, as a pro skateboarder. <laughs> that to me is insane. Right, like the pink Roscoff, you guys yeah. up there. Yeah, and uh, like pro skaters nowadays probably ride their board like two days or something. Exactly. <laughs> and he literally told me, and then he's a vert skater too, like. Yeah. Straight air to disasters and stuff. You yeah, know, like crazy. Now it's a big board. It's strong, but amazing to imagine that. And that graphic know? ran for maybe a couple of years. For sure. It's a, yeah. I, I'm, I was told, and maybe I'm wrong. If somebody wants to comment on the show, the number one selling graphic in the history of skateboarding. Rob Scott. Yeah. Yeah. The I Rob. Doubt the it. Rob won. Well, because they it ran so long. Right. You Is know. It, it, I mean, and it's still running. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because but that, nowadays we're looking for instant gratification that these, that, these they, they don't last as long. Like the graphics don't last long because the people are looking now for nowadays instant gratification. Graphic, well, they want something new. Quick, yeah. quick. Yeah, always something sure. new. Right? Yeah. It really changed with social media. Like it used to be that a skateboard could last a month because it was all based on print advertising, which came out monthly. Right. Now advertising comes out every 15 seconds as <laughs> yeah. social media. Exactly. And so it's really, it changed the game. Yeah. You, are you still doing a lot of skate deck graphic right now? Yeah, I, do, I still do some skate graphics, yeah. What's the latest stuff you've done? Um, I actually did a, a couple boards for Pacifico. For the beer? Yeah, for the beer. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of beer stuff. And, really? uh, yeah. He made you go buy the Peroni. I know, right? <laughs> no, I, picked, I picked out Peroni tonight. By the way, Peroni's delicious, you guys. Yeah, it's, it yeah, it's a nice beer. We're going Italian. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, I gotta yeah. have Pacifico send another batch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. Pacifico, step up. Yeah. Um, is that something like a, a, a POP or something for like a, a yeah, bars? Like, and... Yeah, it was like a promotional thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It wasn't for sale to the public, but it was fun. 
So, uh, so you just get a random email from Pacifico, and they're like, "Hey, Jimbo, yeah, what's up? Yeah, let's do some <laughs> skate graphics." So I was like, "Awesome, awesome. yeah, wow, that's cool." Yeah, free yeah. beer, yeah, free mm -hmm. beer, yeah, you can't hey, go wrong. What's uh, what's your favorite country that you've been to that uh, you know to show everybody your talent? Uh, for, well, Australia is the favorite, my favorite place to visit, but uh, Brazil, the people there, yeah, bar none, the most enthusiastic skate collectors. I've ever encountered. Wow. Yeah. Like, off the hook enthusiasm. Yeah. Hmm. They were just jumping out of their skin, just like freaking out. It was, it so was cool. You were like signing boobs and stuff in Brazil? Yeah. I mean, Is they, Jen watching Yeah. That? Yeah. It was <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> you got a boob yeah. bomb tonight, right? <laughs> yeah. Some guy with a glass eye wanted me to like sign his eyeball. Really? Yeah. Did you do it? Oh, He's like, I love the eye popping graphics. And he's like, boom. No <laughs> way. Yeah. I was like, wow. Oh, oh no. Are you signed <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best ever. I know. Is that the weirdest thing you've ever autographed? Yeah, uh, yeah. The eyeball? Yeah, an eyeball. That's bizarre. Yeah, yeah, wow. it was weird. Yeah, I know. Was it slippery and slimy? Was it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was like glass, you know. It was, wow. It was, yeah, it was really but weird. Back in the old KSO days when that gal came up from the, did the surf channel, remember? Yeah. We found out that our skate guests, our skate guests, were, have a, a, a ten times larger audience than surf guests. Oh wow! Do you, did you did you recognize that in what you're doing as far as you know, skateboarding is way more popular than surfing because obviously you don't need an ocean and people can do it you know across the whole country. Right. Do you yeah, find it's a much broader you right. know like you said you can do it inland you can do it anywhere. Right. Do you find and that? Then, but there's the art aspect of it too, which surfing there's surf art, but it's not as like ingrained into the actual activity is like skateboarding the arts right on the board right is where most surfboards are white you know and, and it seems are like black. right now we have a white surfboard trend i hope right. art comes back yeah because i know you've done a bunch of surfboards we have one hanging up back there you did when you were like 16 years old oh yeah 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 you said you, you were doing a lot of foamers boards you did yeah well, I've done, i painted a lot of surfboards but it's not as like a part of the the whole culture is like skateboarding it's really right. like a part of it like a skate graphic and a skateboard go hand in hand. Is yeah. where a surfboard could be blank and no one cares. Well, in the Homer's board that you've painted, a, a skateboard, people around the world can buy it at their local shop. Right. You know, and that's a big difference. Yeah, is where that's just a one off board. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can I ask you a graphic like this right here, right? Mm -hmm. The one you drew. We're yeah. going to give it away, by the way. We're going to give this graphic away sometime this very right shortly yep. on Santa Cruz Way's Facebook page. But that, what are you thinking? That what are you? What's your th thought behind that? <laughs> Please, pray tell me what your thought is. Is that a flashback? Is, is that, that Santa is that, Maria's or something? Is that like yeah. a platform for the big day? What happened? Yeah. What is that? I mean, that that's basically my interpretation of just like ultimate surf stoke. Right. When you're just so stoked on surfing and the waves are so good and you're so fired up, like that's the way you feel in your mind. Is that how you feel when you come blasting out of a barrel? Is yeah. That like you like, yeah that's, that's where it. that inspiration comes from? Exactly. So, wow. Is that what you, look, that's what you think you look like when yeah. you come out of the yeah. barrel? Yeah. <laughs> Self-portrait. <laughs> okay. I love it. So let me ask you that, Chris Rush. What part of that is from your, is from your dad? The eyes? What, or what part of that is, is did you think you kind of took uh, from him? I or mean, is it all you? Or is it all you? Well, I mean, I have his blood, so it's all a little bit of his, you know, right. it's, yeah. But definitely, you know, the eyes, you know, like a little bit of uh, slasher influence with the tongue, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's all there, you know. Yeah, it's, it's missing a seagull. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just the, the water, It's right? encapsulated, yeah. yeah. So I always look for a seagull in your stuff. Oh, I know. There's got to be a seagull in your stuff. Yeah. There's always a seagull. Yeah. Or pooping on somebody. Yeah. 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 The <laughs> or the shark fin, you know. Yeah. It's missing shark fin, too. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and go, I can't believe I'm doing this for a living. I'm going from my bedroom to my living. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, every day I think that for sure. And wasn't that this, wasn't this, uh, this, the... Uh, Philip studio in the backyard too. Yeah. So you'd literally roll out of bed and walk out to the backyard. Back yeah. Yeah. That's how I started. Yeah. So you've been yeah. doing that your whole life. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no Zoom meetings for yeah. him. He's no. Yeah. <laughs> Work from home. <laughs> Got it. Yep. So the pandemic, no big deal, right? No, I was already social distancing for like thirty years. So <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. It's just the same thing. Did it affect your business? The pandemic. I mean. The phone stopped ringing for maybe, you know, a month there when it first hit, you know, mm -hmm. everyone was kind of like, yeah, like, uh, yeah, but I still have work kind of that I 
Books but, before. Yeah, book before. So I was still working on that. And then by the time I finished that, new, that phone started ringing again. And yeah, it hasn't hasn't stopped at all. So, Are you going to stop? Are you, no, are you no just, plans. No plans? No. Yeah. I mean, my dad retired. Right. He's, uh, Is he really retired, though? I, 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 I mean, I just, I don't know, because he's not 100%. He, does he he's go in, in the garage, garage and sketch late at night and stuff? And <laughs> he's just, I, I bet he buddy. does. I bet he does. <laughs> he's in the garage. <laughs> I, I yeah. want Kurt and Kier He won't show anybody. You know. it's, it's like, you know, it's just weird. Like, I retired, but he's so, he's so into it. I know. Like, he, I know he wakes he, up in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah. He, he turns he, on the light When you draw something. stuff yeah. like that, or dad, his dad draws stuff like what, how, you, your mind's alive. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're always like thinking Your mind's got to be alive the whole time, right? Yeah, and even when my dad's like, you know, get drawn directions to like, oh, go to the liquor store. You know, like he draws these like these directions. You're like, dude, can I frame that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what's that tongue down there? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you ever like sit up in bed and be like, wow, I just thought of something that I should do? do you yeah, do yeah, do yeah. Do I get I get ideas at night. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll write them down sometimes. That's right on the corner, right there, Neil. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, when you things do? are quiet and you're laying in bed and your brain's going or something, uh, I'll start getting ideas and stuff. And sometimes I'll get up and write them down. Does, does Colby want to jump into the family trade? Is he's he's about the age that you did it? it I mean, he's already starting to make money. So I mean, he's getting the checks. Yeah, you know yeah. No, I'm good. I got a little bit left. He yeah, just, he just got his first merge four check. So I, you know, I'm, have you been paying him for his stickers? Yeah. See, okay. Yeah. Well, make sure, Colby, if you're listening, you say, yeah. he's got money for you. He's got money for you. <laughs> Get you next week, buddy. Yeah. So, so he's, he's kind of working his way there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, totally. And is he hustling to try to get jobs, or is he Well, still... I mean, now, you know, he kind of got his first okay. checks, and then now he's like, oh, I'm going to draw a new sock. So he's already, he's working on a new wow. sock. Yeah, so they want more socks. So he's, hmm. yeah, he's doing a new design. And, and is he less hmm. money than Jimbo? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have him do a graphic. He doesn't have the cred. <laughs> <laughs> He's still affordable. He doesn't have the cred yet. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll, I'll call you. That's already happened a couple times. Hang on a minute. Oh, he's stealing hey. your work now? Yeah. They're like, well, what, what about your first gig? Hang on. What about rent, Colby? Hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did I or did I not give him his first gig? Yeah, you did. I gave him we, his have first, a, we have a photo of him. I, gave him his, I had really? a photo of him. I gave him 50 bucks. You gave him 50 bucks? I gave him 50 and bucks. For the dog jam. Quinn, my son Quinn, paid him in cash mm -hmm. for the Dog Jam logo. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, back when in he 2000, was like, I, don't I think know, he was 11 or 11. 12. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a while back. Yeah. 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 His first gig. He's like a veteran already. Yeah. I know. Jeez. Yeah. He's already done a bunch of stuff, so yeah. Wow. I know. So is he, is he rolling out of bed and like sketching now too in the boxers? I, yeah, he's he's kind of fired up now. Yeah. Right now he's with his yeah. girlfriend. Oh, he uh, he's still in love, huh? Yeah, he's in love. Yeah, yeah. but wow. you know, but I think uh, you know making a little money kind of can help motivate you a little bit. You know, if you got a girlfriend, you better have some money. Definitely, yeah, for right? sure. Yeah, 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 you're not mm -hmm. you're not donating, right? And right. He's got he's got a car now. He's oh, got, he's got a car. Got buy gas. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're on your own, bro. Yeah. Wow. Going up the coast Reality. is not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> Sleeping bag in the back. Well, that's about how long you get customers at a store like this. Is right. that like about 19, it all goes to hell. Like, <laughs> life just like. <laughs> right. Skate park slows down. Girlfriend's like, no, don't go skateboarding. Right. Yeah. yeah before that, they're just like surf rats. Fire. Yeah. yeah. Um, skate rats. Yeah. Yeah. Because you was surfing and skating and having a great old time. Yeah. You still yeah. got a ramp in your front yard? No, we don't, but we're talking about building a little one in the backyard. So. Oh, a new one. Yeah. You got a little quarter pipe in your front yard. For yeah, for time. years, yeah, we had one. And yeah. are your neighbors cool? Yeah, really? they're, they're always cool about it, yeah. Yeah, really cool neighbors. Newman's his neighbor. Oh, really? Newman is on the corner, yeah. I know Newman lives on your street. Yeah, yeah. on the corner, Did yeah. you bring home the Aloha Island Grill for you? No. No, no. He doesn't. Uh, Numa. By the way, <laughs> the band, by the way his band's it's no longer. Oh, Feather State Feather broke State up? Feather broke up, yeah. Oh, mm. I heard him practicing in the garage a couple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did they suck? Oh, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a little muffled from that, you know. <laughs> and you still playing drums? Yep. Is, are you been bit jamming? Not for a few months. It's, what, it's, no. the, band, it's the band we want to have on the show. Yeah, you, why don't you guys come on and do uh, uh, with Garen, right? Just no, go? no, I haven't what? been playing with Garen. Oh, what, was no. the band? what band were you guys in together? Uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 Can we get you guys back together? It's funny because right before the pandemic, we were like, yeah, let's all do it. And then, like, I swear the next week, it was like, bang, <laughs> stop. <laughs> well, you guys were doing, like, covers and shit, too. Yeah. And, like, having fun. Yeah, let's fun. Can we get, can yeah, we get, the one that, can we get you guys on? Well, it's kind of a band practice. 
Yeah, the way yeah. we do the show. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah so. we come in and practice. Yeah, we'll yeah. work on that. That's yeah. a good one to work on for sure. Drink beer and play some music. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I know like Garen's coffee. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Hang on a minute. I thought Garen was in the band. Hang on a second. Garen is Garen's a singer. Or? Yeah, he's a singer. Oh, Garen's a singer. Yeah. Who do I con- who do we contact, TC? Who's the con- who do we Garen. contact? Garen? Yeah, Garen. Negotiate with Garen on that one. Really? Good luck. Do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd rather call Jen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, You'll get the real story that way. <laughs> and so what's Jen up to? Your lovely wife. Uh, she's just working. She's working at the bank, so she's kind of, you know, out in the out in the field. There's so. one Philip from the family as a legitimate gig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, for sure. Uh, yeah, okay. she's, she gets tested every week. And, uh, really? Yeah. And at the wow. bank, they test her every week. Really? Yeah. And Bank of America's been buying them lunch every, you know, every day. So that's cool. So they yeah. And they only let one person in the bank at a time. But yeah. But like everyone that comes in the bank is complaining about something. You know, something. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, I go to Bank of America. I'm so mad at those guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Bank of America. Yeah. I'm yeah. super pissed. Yeah. Well, they made it all the way pissed. downtown, you know? Like, oh, because like, they closed down they half closed, the branches? Yeah. And I'm yeah. Like, what the heck? Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. bad for it. She's still a bank. Yeah. So what branch? Is she at? Scotts Valley. Okay. And that's still open, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's been open the whole time. Do you get a lot of kids that, you know, that contact you or some of the youth contact you? They want oh, yeah. They yeah, want to be like, they want to be on Instagram. Oh, you do? Yeah. 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 They send me their drawings and stuff, and they're like, can you tell me what I can do to right. improve and try and give them some tips and stuff. Right. That's you pretty fun. You oh, yeah, that? I always reply, yeah. 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 And I you got kids get so stoked on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I try and give them, like, positive, like, oh, that looks awesome, you know, maybe uh, make his eyes more bloodshot or something. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. And you, you can literally make a kid's life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah people, You make people happy, Jim, but oh, they totally. make yeah. people happy. Yeah, I mean, any kid could do it, really, if you love drawing, you know, it's just... Just have to apply yourself and keep hammering away at it, just like anything, you know. Wow, that's amazing. And you're the you're the you're the creator of the well, you're the creator of the skate contest, the, the not skate contest, the, the uh, drawing contest, the coloring contest, the coloring contest. Which Jimbo does the art. And Jimbo for. does the art right. for. Yeah, and Jimbo's yeah. the judge, right? He's yeah, the, judge. the Jimbo judges. Yeah. yeah. And Jen helps. Yeah. yeah. Have you oh, seen yeah. any? Have it's you a seen big judging night. Too. Oh, it is. Yeah. 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 Have, have you? Oh, it's a big judging night. Oh, yeah. Well, we get, like five, we get like five, we get like five, it's literally takes all night. Can we yeah. Facebook Live that? Sure. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Right? We get like, that would be a sick last show. year we had so many, I forget the number, 600 or something? Oh, it's What insane. is that? It's a, uh, hey, well, we, we, so the deal is, by the way, let me grab one. Oh, I don't have one? You want to well, grab that? Why don't you grab that? Uh, I can grab this one. Are you sold out? We, I, we, I got to pick them up tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But this is one that a oh. famous Canadian artist did. Um... But uh, this famous Canadian artist was disqualified. Whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, Why unfortunately. Why was he disqualified? Uh, because, um, well, Jimbo explained to me it's that he... It's not an official entry. It, he manipulated the entry. Oh. So I'm sure that's going to get that a special special award because it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah, we'll come up Yeah, with right? Some. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's amazing. So, yeah. But um, a, a, a gentleman... I think he's going to get a pair of merch for socks. Oh, no, it's actually uh, <laughs> insane. And uh, I do I do have his Instagram. Okay. If you want to put that on there, too, that's Instagram for this guy who is just absolutely amazing. There we go. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yes, and then up there is last year's. Neil, why don't you show some of the yeah, people last yeah, year's? Last year's. Hang on a minute. So that's some of last year's coloring contest. Last year's coloring contest. Yeah, that's a sampling of last year's coloring contest. Because yeah. like I said, we got like 500. Those are the top entries. Yeah, all those ones on the left are some of the winners up there. Very nice. That's a lot of fun. No, it's so much fun yeah. doing that. Yeah. I mean, thank you, by the way. Oh, yeah, because, my pleasure. Uh, I love it. Kids get so psyched, and I love seeing what they do with it, you know. And it's super fun. Yeah. Judging's fun. It is. And now give them, give them, give them something to do, because kids right now are breaking down. They've been doing this. Co- oh, yeah. Well, well I heard here. a couple kids message me, and they're like, we colored the coloring contest thing, but now we need more stuff to color. Right. Oh, yeah. They're like, can you, where's the coloring book? And so now I'm like, well, maybe I need a coloring book. Well, you know what, Neil, last year what we did was we, um, I'd always, I would get calls from people all over the country saying, can you mail me one? Right. And now we, you can print them off of our website. Right. Yeah. And so we have two divisions. We have a division of people who print them and mail them to us and a division of people who come into the store and get one and bring it back in the store. Right. And so there's actually six categories, uh, six winners. Right. Okay. Uh, six grand prize winners. Yeah. 
in it. So there's six divisions, which is wow. pretty crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. Yeah. So and, and uh, a lot of money to be given away. So thank you, Jimbo, for doing that. Oh yeah, thank yeah, you. Thanks rad. for hosting it. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I, I won a coloring contest when I was like eight years old. You did? Yeah. At Sears. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I, I bought Tonka trucks. Nice. I, yeah, I wish I had them. Those metal ones are worth a lot of money now. Oh, yeah. Is there, but, a, is there a senior division for someone like myself? There is. There is? Uh, actually, the, the grand prize winner last year was 55 years old. I'm doing it this year. Yeah, and he did it with his kids. I'm doing it this year. Yeah, and he, won yeah, the, and he was yeah. the one who did the green mohawk. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Yeah, it turned yeah. out he was 50, 55, I believe. Jim, we want to thank you for coming to the show, buddy. Oh, my pleasure. Anytime. You, know, you, do a, you make people happy. Thanks. Yes, TC makes people happy. Yeah, you make people happy. You guys make me happy. I don't know. We try. <laughs> you know, um, your what you and your dad have created is so much more than what it was put on. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I said earlier, I see grown men come in here and cry yeah. when they see a skateboard that has art that your family created. Yeah. And or yourself, obviously. Well, they, you know, you get that uh, you get that skateboard when you're 12 years old, you know, and you stare at it when it's in your room, and you go out and skate it, and you grind it, and then you look at where you grind it, and, you know, you really study it, and it's, like, really such a special thing, and it's also, like, kind of freedom, you know, you, like, you can ride off away from your parents' house and go, you know, skate curves, and do whatever you want, yeah, yeah it's transportation, it's it's a key to your freedom, you know. It's a right. little piece of it when you're young. And right. It's a magic carpet. It is. It is. <laughs> it's a magic carpet. Yeah. It is. A skateboard is one of the most versatile things you can own. You know, it's got wheels. You can put stuff on it, roll it. You can skate it. You can transportation. You have fun. Kings like a champ. Yeah. What was your first skateboard? Your first, like, you remember your first new skateboard? Okay, my first skateboard was one of the fiberglass Santa Cruz, like, thin, uh -huh. like, yeah, lam yeah, yeah, yeah. laminated. Right. Just had the Santa Cruz strip on it, Road Rider 2s, really narrow trucks, only like that wide. The Cadillacs, I think they were putting yeah, them in. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't even really grind or anything. You know, like just basically <laughs> surf skating down the sidewalk was what it was about. Just kind of <laughs> slalom and stuff. But how did you, how'd you, well, you roll that thing, how did you feel? I'm sorry, TC. Oh, go ahead. Oh, how did you, you feel? I skated every day when I was a kid. I right. mean, I really loved the, the freedom of it. And... I wasn't really like a team sports guy. I mean, I play a little baseball and that, and, but like when I got on the skateboard, I really felt like that was where I belonged to be, you know, right, just like right. off doing whatever you wanted to do by yourself or with your friends, but no rules, you know, no, right, no right. restrictions, just go have fun. Just skating. You know? hmm. Yeah. See? And you're a big fan of punk rock. Oh, yeah. 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 When that happened? Because your dad, your, your dad's musical influence is not punk rock. No, definitely not. Yeah. No. <laughs> he was like, God damn it, turn it down, Jimbo. <laughs> was he bummed? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, he would give us like a little block of time where we could like, blare, you know, in the afternoon, you know, like, okay, you guys can play your punk rock. But in the morning, it was like classical music. <laughs> And then maybe in the uh, midday, your some mom must have hated reggae it. music, you know. Your mom, your mom just putting. Oh hated, yeah, hated, oh yeah. Right? I just blare like suicidal tendencies, you know, <laughs> just super loud, just as loud as my little uh, boombox would play, you know. Right. Like, I just hear them. Damn tortured. kids, damn yeah. kids. You how, did, did you torture your mom? I, your dad uh, I probably did, you know. Yeah. Not 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 intentionally at the no, time, no, no, but no. looking back, you know, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was this. It was the seventies and eighties. You know, I was a wild kid. You know, got into a lot of trouble. And, yeah. I mean, not nothing serious, but like you know, hijinks. I've heard stories. Got, your dad ran around and partied a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 had, had, his, he had his hijinks. You yeah. Know, so yeah. yeah, the chip off the old block. Yeah, yeah it's natural. You know, you got you got to get out and uh, have a little fun and get crazy once in a while. So has your dad ever said, "I'm proud of you, son"? He has. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. it means yeah. a lot because he doesn't throw around compliments a lot, you know. So mm -hmm. when he does say it, I really take it to heart. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you should be. Yeah, because I mean, you're, you you have done nothing but you know compliment everything that he worked for every day, and so I would hope so. And it's tough know. to follow. It's very difficult to follow in your father's footsteps. Yes. Oh yeah, it's yeah. very difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah he you set know? the bar really high, you know. And well, it's still it's just it's just difficult. It know? is. No matter what you're doing, it I think right. it's probably hard. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But you know, in a lot of ways, it's uh, it's been a blessing as well. You know, every time so. you interview, every time you interviewed or whatever, your dad's name comes up. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's for not sure. like a Jimbo interview. A Jimbo interview, whether it be with us or whoever, always includes your dad. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, how do you just, feel about that? Okay with you? Yeah, I mean yeah. that's part of the story. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean he's my dad. I I learned what I do from him. And right. And yeah. When so. I look back at that, we did that YouTube. That talk about doing YouTube shows. On YouTube is the three generations of the Phillips family. Yeah. With your dad, you, and Colby. Yeah, that was a good at episode. KSCO. Mm. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah good that one. Was, that would be that. Mm-hmm. That's what we try to do, TC. Right. Record, record it. Record all the history. Yeah. yeah. That's a great show. That is. And you, I got pictures of your dad. Howling, laughing. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, he had a great awesome. time. So he had a good yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that was Hot, fun. laughing his ass off. Oh, totally. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, maybe someday we can redo it. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be yeah. good again. How are we doing on time, buddy? We did, we're are ready we, to go. Are you gonna do your some sponsorship? I right need now? to do. I need to do because I, I just I just got this. All, suddenly, I was like, Jen wants you home. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's like, just put the pin in a TC doll just now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Point that, <laughs> that thing over here, TC. I'm going to run. I'm going to do this nice. I'm going to take my time here. These people have got to be recognized because every person who is on here supports the show. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who supports the show. TC supports it, and so many people we we know we go around town. And people enjoy the show, and especially during the pandemic, it's brought a lot of people some happiness. So Christine Peeney is a first class realtor with David Link Real Estate. And who knows the market here in Santa Cruz like the back of her hand? She's awesome. She is awesome. For contact info, go to christinepeeney.com. Straley Legacy Planning is a local estate planning office. Remember TC? She came on the show. <coughs> oh, Sherry yeah, Staley. Awesome. Yeah. I thought she was going to be a stuck-up lawyer, right? And she turned out to be hysterical. Well, so, if you have an estate and you're not planning, call her. Right. And her number is 621-2165 or santacruzestateplanning.com. Merge for sock, we blew them up. Woo! Chill out cafe where they roll the fairies. <coughs> Beach Nest Vacation Rentals. We won the perfect perfect vacation plan in Santa Cruz. No better place to call than beachnest.com. Pizza one and Aptos. What's the I surf with Mike today. Mike's the owner of pizza and he's like, Deal, you I've seen you've been coming in here a lot lately. It's like <laughs> dude. You got a huge bar tab there. Yeah, right? I got a <laughs> damn those pizzas. Uh, just damn those pizza one and out. Pizza one and out to die for. Get it to go. Six eight four one 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 zero. Aloha Island Grill. We all talked about Numa. Thanks Numa. to Numa for the Hawaiian food to go. Listing stack. Our listing. Our, our plug should be ready. Huh? The plug should be ready pretty soon. Mm-hmm. TCB got we measured. Plugs. We got oh, we nice. got pl- we got surf plugs for our ears. Uh, Provac sales in Santa Cruz. They ask you to pack your trash and wear your sunscreen when you come to the beach. And remember, for sales of vacuum pumps, detectors, large inventory of rebuilt vacuum pumps available, pro- contact Provac at 462-8900. Provac, basically what they want to say is, like, you know, if you, pack, if you come to the beach, pack your shit and take all the trash and take it home with you. Yeah. Don't leave it on the beach for us yeah, to clean exactly. up. Take it with you. Uh, the Wave Clock in Santa Cruz. Thank you, Craig Jones, for the Wave Clock. I have mine at home. It works great. I surfed with him this morning once again. Boy, I burned him good, TC. Did you? <coughs> I burned him badly. Sean Rolby with Farmers Insurance. Yes, he continues to steal my way, but bro. today I freaking burned you bad, dude. I was yeah. so, I felt so good. I felt like that. Yeah. I felt like that. Felt so good. Uh, J- Jenna Medved with Campus Real Estate knows every inch of the market and will help you educate along the ride of your finding a perfect home. For all, co- for all her contact info, call Jen. Oh, her website is JeneMedvedHomes.com. Uh, Josh from Daily, C- from Josh, from the Daily, C- the uh, coffee shop right there. And the Daily Grind. The Daily Grind Left and Coast Left Coast Sausage, Coast sausage Coast also, Coast also Coast sponsors Coast. the show. Jimbo, you you did art for yeah, Josh down yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Josh, He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. Do you want a good hot dog? Couple yeah, more, yeah, two yeah, more. Yeah, Aptos fun. carpet and upholstery. Nice buzz, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Aptos <laughs> carpet and upholstery cleaning. A certified professional carpet and upholstery cleaning business. They did my carpets at my house. Serving the Aptos and Santa Cruz area since 1980. Call Jim today at 688-7705. And last but not least, I've known Mike Gate, owner of the Argus Company, for over 30 years. I have known him forever. Stop by, and meet Mike for your next car at Branson 40 Drive, in Water Street. Go to the Argus Company dot. Calm. Once again, Jimbo, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I want to just give a quick plug to my website, JimboPhillips.com. You can buy stickers, prints, stickers. t-shirts, all that good stuff. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, get all the latest, greatest happenings. Let's get those stickers. Yeah. Those things are sick. Yeah. Got sticker nice sheets. Stickers. Yeah. 
And we're gonna love give it. TC. We're gonna come little up stickers, with stickers. I'm gonna skate love squatch. It. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, TC, I'm going to give away that com. print this week on Santa Cruz Way's Facebook page. We're, We're giving away that. Going to come up with a little giveaway. Can we open it? Have you put our official autograph on that, Jimbo? It's got, I already oh, did. Oh, that's officially yeah, autographed official. right there? Yep. Oh, wow. Official. Okay. Yeah. It's right there. That's the official signature. Yeah, it's signed. So, uh, what's, what do you call this guy? Surf Freak. Surf Freak. The Surf Freak. And so you came blasting out of Santa Mo's barrel and you yeah. came home and drew that? Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yep, okay. self portrait. All right. Uh, everybody who tuned in tonight, thanks for tuning in to the Awesome Radio Show. Jimbo, thank you. My pleasure. You're thank you. Very gracious. Thank you. Post, uh, Friday night, yes. Alex Acero and Live Again Beach Party at my house. All right. And Sunday, excuse me, Sunday, yes, the Joint Chiefs playing a pledge point. For the hundredth COVID concert. Nice. And, uh, and uh, the, what day is Alice and Sarah at the beach? Friday, afternoon, so three o'clock. Just north of this men's ship. Yeah. Friday. Dancing on the bring, bring the beach chairs. Yep. And listen to some music. Yep. And right. dancing on the Sweet. beach. Sweet. Jimbo. Eww. Say hi to Jen for us. Yeah, I will. Tell Thank you. She's not mad at me anymore. No, nah, it's all hey, good. Everybody. Thank all right. Thank you. Thank you. In. Thanks, you guys. Show number four hundred eighty-one. Four hundred eighty-one. Get your coloring contest entries in, and we'll see you next week.